tonight. We're going to have a uh, someone uh, who I love very much that's going to come up and tell some stories uh, tonight. Uh, and then we're going to do some improv based on it. Uh, this person, our storyteller, our monologist tonight, her name is Ashley. Uh, I first got to know her up in Austin uh, doing improv up there. We kind of uh, came up together through the same scene. Uh, I have since moved to Houston. She has since moved to San Francisco. Uh, boo. 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 What, what are you doing? Boo. Boo. You heard that. <laughs> but it's, uh, she is, she's out there. She's making it. Look, everyone hates it apparently, but she's out there making it as, as awesome as she can. Uh, she's a great improviser. You've already seen her. You've already laughed at her tonight. She's going to tell some awesome stories. So please put your hands together for Ashley. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. Um, you can't tell by looking at me right now because my clothes are matching. Um, I don't have like death makeup all over me. Uh, but I was sort of weird in high school. Um, and I was really, really excited for high school to be over with when it was done. Um, so I was very surprised when my mother called me a few years after high school and she said, hey, I met this man, we're getting married, and I think you know his two daughters. It turns out he has two daughters that are the exact same age as me and my sister, and they just happen to have been the most popular girls uh, from each of our uh, high school classes. So each of us, me and my sister, both have a stepsister uh, that was the most popular girl of our high school class. It's a little like uh, we're a sad version of the Brady Bunch, uh, where we don't get to like solve mysteries or find out uh, who stole the basketball. Uh, but uh, instead, it's like the geeks from Freaks and Geeks have to make pleasantries four times a year uh, with the cast of Gossip Girl. <laughs> and it's <laughs> It would be fine, except there's a very particular thing you have to do when uh, you hang out with very popular people uh, who you went to high school with, and that is pretend you don't know anything about them. Because uh, they don't know anything about me. They, they think I spent my high school life just like they did. Uh, self-selecting a very small group of very sexy, wealthy people and only hanging out with them for the entirety of the four years of high school and then the next ten years after. Uh, and that's not how high school was. High school for me was like being forced uh, to stand other under a gossip rain cloud uh, with a giant info bucket over my head. Uh, just getting all of the knowledge about them, even if I didn't want it. It was just like coming at me. Um, so I know everything about them. I, I, like, it's a, I know an embarrassing amount about them, even though I never asked a question or sought that information out that I can remember. Uh, I know that they had middle school boyfriends. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I did not trust myself with a Ken doll when I was in middle school. <laughs> My Barbies, Barbies did not lose their virginity until college. And not freshman year of college, way into college. Um, I know about when they went to rehab, and I know about all the, the houses they trashed and the amount of damage they caused during house parties. Not because I was there, uh, but because me and my friends, the cast offs from the island of misfit toys, used to just like sit around and like think about the parents. <laughs> just like think about like how hard they're trying and like how hard, how hard they worked for all of that stuff, man. Yeah. Dis disrespectful. Um, so if you ask my stepsister, she's pretty much said like, we've never ever spoken before. We just never crossed paths in high school, it just didn't happen. Um, 
So that's where I'm going to leave the story for now, and it will be a little cliffhanger for when I come back. <laughs> oh. oh, God damn! Harvey! Harvey, we got a big, we got a big story, we got a, we got a big one coming our way. Harvey. The biggest gossip hurricane we got. Holy shit. I know. This hurricane is going to be so much juicy gossip, it's going to be too much for my ears. <laughs> it's going to ruin tons of teenagers' lives. I know. The last <laughs> gossip rain, rainstorm that we had, people knew after that that I like to dress up like Pride and Prejudice characters. <laughs> my wife left me. What's this gossip thing going to do next? <laughs> Hopefully nothing about me. <laughs> Oh, well, you know what that last gossip tornado said about you? Yeah? You like listening to Tears for Fear. No! Yeah, that's right. You like 80s new wave music. You told me you like death metal. I do. I like death metal. <laughs> Listen. If this gossip hurricane comes, it'll destroy everything but people don't know about us. Are you sure? Can we fight it? Is there something we can do to fight it? You can't fight gossip, Harvey. <laughs> we can do something. Gentlemen! I just came from the science lab. <gasps> They've got a solution. It's I'm going to bring it in. <laughs> it's an information bucket. <laughs> if we collect all the gossip and keep it away from the other people, no one will know each other's secrets. He's on to something. <laughs> it's just fucking crazy enough to work. No. I thought you were back there with your tie and your glasses. I know. I look scientific, yeah. but I'm just an intern. <laughs> <laughs> that's why. <laughs> and that's why I never believed you. But I'll, I'll go ahead with this. You said you never believed him because he's got all those Pyrex animal things that he keeps on the shelves in his house. <laughs> that's right. You know about that? The gossip brain cloud told me everything about that. Damn it! The gossip cloud told me it's accelerating. We don't care though. Let's work together to fight this thing. It's coming. I can hear the gossip cloud. Come on, guys. Can you believe what uh, Jessica said? The most wearing good eyes. Stop working! Oh, 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 they're coming in! They're coming in! We're here! Catch them! Quick! No. She totally doesn't work. No, it's not working! <laughs> just gotta go straight for it, man! Listen, I'm just gonna fire this missile right towards it if this can't collect any more gossip. You mean you'll do it? Okay. I heard that the rocket doesn't work. <laughs> oh my god! That won't even work! He just said it doesn't work! That's what I heard! I don't know! Where'd you hear that from? <laughs> Listen, Where's just your head from? Or is it real? <laughs> Send a bucket of gossip into space. Oh, God, Commander! That's right. I'm the most qualified person because I work on an oil rig. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling 
that in the middle of the night, they're going to try and break the bond, and they're going to come in and try and bite us. No, no, and no, no, we don't want to talk to them about it. Tell them. They're sweet. They're nice. Mm. <laughs> None of you are nice. No. <laughs> oh, no. Sweetheart. No. Daddy's angry. Come on. Look. No, I just let me punch him. We're in love. Yeah, that's... And love is stronger than instinct. Not for me. I really want to kill these snakes. <laughs> Mom, the snakes are now your siblings. Mom was killed by a cobra, Dad. How could you do this to the family? You know, I just uh, sorry about the about, 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 about <laughs> with you. You did it. You and yeah. Dad. She killed Mom. I mean, that's that's a big deal. You know, you know what they say? They say that love is stronger than instinct, and forgiveness is stronger than. Uh... <laughs> ah! I told you! Ah! 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 Mom? Mom? Um, hey, I, I hope you're having fun on your vacation. I am. Uh, I am. I hope things are great. Um, let's pretend that. Uh, Let's pretend that our dog, uh, Michaela, uh, pooped in the house. Whoa! Oh, no! Did she yell at you? Uh, um, Is she mad? Yeah, they're, they're okay. They're okay. Uh, and let's say, let's say, when Michaela pooped in the house, he also threw a party and blew up the house. Oh! Is she mad? We wouldn't get rid of Michaela, would we? Like, 
shit, did she just out cool us? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 you know what the newest girl in school does. Come on, we're part of her now. Whoa, Victor, buddy, hey, hey. I didn't talk to Melvin. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just standing there. Whoa, hey. You're pretty suspicious, you want friends in your group. Hey, you, have enough friends you know, being popular is about having friends. What's happening? Yeah. What's happening? Hey, so I got your mom to send me a lot of pictures of you, and I made a whole video of just me and you being best friends. No, no. Guys, I don't, I don't hang out with Melvin. He doesn't know me. They're going to play at that school talent show. I'm going to go finalize it. No, come on, guys. I'm Blake. I'm the skateboarder. You know me. You know me. Remember when I did that ollie? Like right over the principal? He was like, what? I was like, yeah. I don't know if I remember. Yeah, my memory is just failing me. Well, y'all are still coming to my party this weekend, right? Are you going? Probably not. Mm, probably not. Probably I not. Oh, Melvin, I set up some Tostitos pizza rolls for your party. I got some Xbox, and oh, I even saw a friend outside. Come here, <laughs> you play oh, gosh. He's so cute! Oh my gosh, all those Tostito rolls. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> place for me to start talking again. Perfect. Um, okay, so when I left off, my stepsister has no idea that our paths ever crossed in high school, but they did. Uh, I'm sure you all have a very clear memory of a certain critically acclaimed film entering our world in the, mo in the year of 1999 called She's All That. <laughs> M. Night Shyamalan wow. uh, before he was what? famous. Yeah. That and explains the trick ending. <laughs> that explains the trick middle when she unveils her her artsy overalls and she has like tents the size of water balloons. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's a better <laughs> Dance troupe. 
and she choreographed her own dances. And it was called Unbridled Enthusiasm. And it was awesome, and I should know, because I was the only other member of that dance troupe. <laughs> and we performed everywhere. It did not matter, the grocery store, a parking lot, a We didn't care, we just did dances. Uh, so we were like, okay, Megan Fowler is going to be prom queen uh, for our senior class. And we did everything to make it happen. We wore these huge sandwich boards um, around the school. We swung cowbells. Uh, the sandwich boards would say things like, uh, um, Megan's IQ is larger than her bra size, and that's cool. That's, cool. that's something we should think about, class. Um, we wore a mask of Megan's uh, favorite celebrity at the time, uh, which was Ronald Reagan, which was, <laughs> and it was still like better than what other people were doing. It was still like he's still like a smart. We can all agree he's a smart man. Um, <laughs> like, we walked around school, made it, making like a bunch of nonsense noise, and you know people would say like, "Fine, I'll vote for her. Just shut up. It doesn't matter anyways. It's just a stupid contest." And we would be like. I'm making change. We are doing this. And then the night, the big dance came. And of course, none of us were actually there. Uh, because uh, it's just a stupid patriarchal thing that just keeps the status quo going. And none of us were asked. <laughs> morning uh, that Megan won. She was And my stepsister was just just runner-up prom queen. Can you imagine anything more embarrassing than being uh, the runner-up prom queen? Like for sure it's more for sure it is more embarrassing uh, than being at a dance troupe called Unbridled Enthusiasm <laughs> or losing your virginity your uh, junior year of college. So that's my story! And your popularity in the water balloons. Oh, those were water balloons. Those are those are actual water balloons. I filled them up this morning. Oh. Can you put your overalls back on? <laughs> <laughs> You're not amazed? Yeah. Okay. Well, hey, let's try this. Take off your glasses and shake out your hair. Let's see if that does anything. Wait, hold on, do it slow. Do it slow! Hey, uh, uh, hey, Junior High Gym Class, listen, I'm going to get the shower. Please don't be alarmed. All right? <laughs> Coach? <laughs> it's, it's like this every year with you sixth graders. Right? <laughs> just, I've never seen another... Whoa! <laughs> yes, it's just a mushroom tip. That's all it is. Fungus. It's a fungus. It's a fungi. Mine? Is it supposed to look like that? I don't know. Because mine is vastly different. <laughs> I don't know if you are, but it's like, I don't know. Like, is, is yours going to turn into this? I've never seen someone my age. Oh, I hope not. <laughs> oh, please don't let it turn into that. But well, I think as long as you don't touch it. <gasps> I touch it all the time! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was just touching it. <laughs>
tell you not to be alarmed. I'm not your dad. <laughs> it's a penis! <laughs> well, uh, George, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. as your president, uh, apparently I'm supposed to sign a treaty and I, you know, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> what do, I, do I just point at it and it's, you know, well, well, Bill, you, you take the pen out. George, are you crazy? It's me, Ron. <laughs> I didn't know you were crazy. I didn't want to address you by the government name. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Ronald, yeah. pick up the pen. What's a pen? <laughs> oh, that's racist. <laughs> Mr. President, it's ready. The draft is ready. Just go ahead and sign it. Well, he's an uppity fella. He's a surprise. We got him from Harvard. 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 I'm the Secretary of State. You're a secretary, but you're a man. <laughs> Just point at it. Pick up the black thing. Sign. No, you pick the black thing up. All right. And then you write your name. All right. Right there. What it is? Do I just you write it? Ronald. Mr. President, you know your name. Shut up, Secretary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the goddamn leader of the free world. Ronald goddamn Reagan. All right. All right. So, I put it on no, the No, no, try again. Just try again. Try no, again. Just pick up the pen. I've got, you know, I've got the target in my sights. <laughs> Did y'all hear that too? <laughs> George, get in my <laughs> Just waiting for, uh, okay. for the affirmative. You need to uh, hurry up and sign it. Put the pin on it. It's been signed. It's been signed. <laughs> you just put your uh, pin on it. You, you sign it as me. Before you assassinate Ronald Reagan, make sure to go over the four H's. <laughs> Uh, what, are the, what are those again? Oh, just to point the fucking other four inches. You want to point the fucking other four inches? Secretary of State, this is how I hired you to specifically help this guy out. Really? That's my job? Yes. I thought it was cabinet meetings and I don't know, running a fucking country. But all right, listen, take the pen. All right. Put it in your hand. This, I've got it. Scribble on the paper next to the line. That'll be yeah. good enough. Right there. No, that's like I should be grading only, it. Like, I should be on screen. It's pepper. Pepper. Is that like they're talking so loud across the street I can't even. No, go ahead. Go ahead and start with the first page. Let me turn up my earpiece. That was easy. Yes, it good was, job. Mr. President. Good job. You did it. I feel the V credit. These next fucking four years. You know, I, I, uh, I've killed a lot of people, but I, sometimes I get to thinking about the people that they leave behind. And, <laughs> <laughs> I don't well, think I can do it. Maybe the first page is like, home. George. It's your backup over here. Yo, we've been wanting to know what the fuck the four inches are, too. George, <laughs> signing that document gave me such a boner, I feel like invading the country. <laughs> Whoa! Calm down, Ronald. Is there something in South America? <laughs> Like, what about the country of Africa? Can we invade Africa? That's a country, isn't it? I feel invigorated, George. Calm down, brother. Hold your horses. Uh, uh, Eagle One, this is uh, Sparrow Base. We were wondering, maybe full rage is actually like a word, like forage, like F O R A C H E. What about an island? Can we invade an island? They'll never expect it, and they can't go anywhere. Oh, but shoot me, you're the president. George, you're making me have flaccid. I'm just gonna shoot it. I think that's a good thing, right? <laughs> oh no, George, I've been... President, you can put on your 4-H's phone. It burns, I don't know what happened. I just got him in the I've got this red stuff. You've been shot. Is that what it is? Yeah. Like in the old westerns I used to be in. No, this is real. This is real. Oh. This is not like Hollywood back when you were handsome. George! George! I feel faint. Give my friend John Hinckley a call. John Hinckley! <laughs> the fuck is that? Geese, <laughs> get in here, little geese. Come on, geese. Come on, claw, 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 claw. Now look. One of you guys, we're gonna send one of you guys into the duck family. 
And you're gonna grow up and you're gonna make them all feel like shit when you're a lot better looking than they are when you get older. Oh, man. I think we're gonna go with Tim. Yeah, send me. I don't I don't feel like I don't fit in No, Tim, you're a triple threat. You got yellow fur. <laughs> yeah, I got yellow fur. That's one threat. You got a short neck like a duck. Yeah, so. And these guys are all honking and you quack sometimes. <laughs> Whatever, like. You gotta go, little Tim. I, I, I feel like this is like, like just a way to get me out. Oh no, little Tim, we love you. Oh, quack. You'll <laughs> <laughs> you you never have liked me. No. Me looking prettier. This is just you don't want me screwing up your club. You know the story of the ugly goose, right? Oh, fall, fall. What? <laughs> Are you? FPJ does her all up and then. Aw, oh, Quint. Right. You are. Well, you're too long to take center stage. You see? Okay. <laughs> My family's calling me ugly. Just because I happen to look like a duck and sound like a duck. I don't wanna win for my life. <laughs> but it's like I just wanted to be just like the rest of my family. I want a long neck. I don't wanna win. I wanna dip lower and grab the fish while they're still swimming. I hate waiting until they die and float to the top. I'm gonna make you a bitch that we can make this goose into a swan. No one could ever make me into a swan. <laughs> Well, I'll you're, take you're that gonna, bet. Well, that, that's what I'm saying, Tim. You're going to be a swan anyway because you're a goose. <laughs> <laughs> so we want to send you over to the dust to make them feel bad. I want to be a swan, though, Dad. You're going to be a swan. We just want them to think that you're a duck first. But I'm a goose. <laughs> I know. I think I can help. No, not my glasses. Oh. oh. <laughs> my neck is getting so long. <laughs> we here at Vanity Fair want to put your cover on the photo. A, a goose transitioning to a swan? That is a hot story. I used to be a duck. <laughs> you're not just a vet. No, you're not. You yes. really meant something. Mm -mm. Don't, don't go to that prom. He's just gonna try to fuck you and then eat you because you're a goose. <laughs> what? Yeah. But I wouldn't be a swan. <laughs> that, that guy, Josh Taylor, is gonna eat you. I don't, I don't want to be eaten. Maybe I should just stay here with you. Whoa, it's me, handsome Fox Prince Jr. <laughs> oh, no, I can't help it. He's so handsome. <laughs> you to take my sexy date out to prom. You couldn't meet me. Look, I know that you heard about the bed. What if just a goose that looks like a duck that wishes it was a swan? <laughs>